I am still having to clarify. For years, I have been clarifying what I said. And many of you guys have never heard it because you've just seen article after article, hit after hit, people trying to convince the masses that I said something that I simply never said. And in watching that clip, I think people were shocked. But yes, this is the truth. And factually speaking, uh, as a political pundit, whatever it is that you want to call me, as a podcaster, I have been smeared and libeled for years. And I feel uh, a power building in that people are getting tired of this. We are being tired of being propagandized. And that is why, for me, I feel in my soul at the time is now. And people are asking, why, why is Candace speaking out right now? Well, the truth is, is... I'm simply tired of being lied on. I'm a human, right? Eventually you get to a point where you say, I'm just not going to allow people to lie on my name anymore. Especially again, as I said, when it's been happening for years. And really all I've ever done since I've had a platform is just try to show you guys the truth. I don't want to tell you what to think. I can only share with you what my experiences are and hope that it helps you develop your own ideas. So let's recap because I'm gonna share some things I've never shared before. Obviously, you guys know that I hit the scene in 2017, and I had a laser sharp focus on the black community. My career began when I started making YouTube videos, really challenging the BLM narrative. I was having my own awakening in real time about the lies that the media was printing about black people, really lies that were meant in my, my viewpoint to keep black people down, to encourage black people uh, to live a life of criminality, to encourage black people to loot and to riot their own neighborhoods in the name of some perceived social justice. I pretty immediately got hired at Turning Point USA and I hit the ground running with Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk is unapologetically pro-Israel. Everybody knows this. I was beside him uh, throughout most of his pro-Israel commentary and I bet if people dug it up on the internet, you would hear me saying pro-Israel talking points. And I say talking points because when I got into it, I didn't really care, again, about Israel because I was an American and I just wanted to talk about black America. But certainly I was nodding my head no matter what Charlie Kirk said, because I was just grateful to have a platform to talk about the things that were important to me. And I had a wonderful experience with Charlie Kirk, and I learned a lot under him and with Turning Point USA. In 2018, Charlie Kirk and I traveled to the United Kingdom, and it is there that I gave a notorious speech in November of 2018, where that clip was derived from. I'm going to show you that clip again in its context. We were talking about things that were happening in the United States, and somebody raised their hand and asked about the word nationalism, why we're all so afraid to say, I'm a nationalist. I, I, I am focused on my own nation. And in trying to answer their question, I basically said, because the word nationalism has been wrongly attributed to Adolf Hitler, at least in America, and that's why people are afraid to embrace the word. Here are my words again. Yeah, I agree. I, I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned um, by elitists that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I, what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine.